Welcome back. Alright, in the previous video, we have already shown the data from the database in this page. Alright, so now we are what we are gonna do is make this form work so we can add post. And when we click the add post, we have a new post in here. Let's open the code what we have from the last video and let's make it a bit bigger. So let's check for the post for the form i mean <laughs> this is the form and basically what we need to do is when we click the add post button we need to uh, add action and the action is going to be post dot process dot php right and we need to give a method in here and let's set to post all right so now save and when we go to the browser so reload and when we click the create post and just add yeah just data in here let's add post and it's going to be go to the post.process.php and it's going to be error because we don't have yet the file so let's create the file right here in the root folder and name is going to be post.process.php all right so in here what we need to do is open a php tag And for the first, let's include the auto load class, which is includes and slash class dot dash auto load dot int dot php. All right, so now we need to instantiate new object. So post is going to be equal to new post right it's going to be from this class okay all right so all right what we need to do now is just check if somebody click the submit the add post right here we want to do something all right so we need to using a set it's gonna be pause and if we get the submit let's go to where's my index okay when we get the Oh, we don't send anything in here so let's add name is going to be equals to submit if somebody click the submit we need to do something in here All right so uh, I just just want to show you guys I want to just print R the post All right, so save and let's take a look in the browser. Just reload, create post and uh, random data. And when we add post, we get an array. Okay, post title, we get uh, post content and post author, and we get a submit as well. All right, so far so good. So in here we need to store everything which is the title and the content in, in, in a variable all right so let's create a variable called title and we and we want to set this to uh post title so let's copy and paste and it should be uh content Let's change that to the body. Set to alt 
outer and get the outer as well. Right, so in here, what we need to do is create a call this pose right here, and we need to call method. Okay, uh, the method is going to be at pose, but now we don't have yet that. Okay, so we don't have yet this add post method so let's create that in here okay so public function add post and in here just for make sure uh, add getting new post okay just for make sure it's work so let's go to the browser and reload Now when we create pose and just random content and everything random and we have an undefined index oh what a problem in here so let's take a look in index oh yeah basically we create we send name post title post content post outer okay I forget the post basically all right, so let's add, not in there. In here, let's add a post, test title, post, test content, and post, test author. Okay, so let's take a look again. When we create post, add post, and have adding new post which is from here all right so now we don't need just a post we need to do is sql statement so we need to insert into and the table name it should be post right we need to insert something in post and um what we need to in insert is just the title and body and the title oh not title it's outer okay and the value it should be question mark question mark question mark is uh three time right just this this question mark it just represent what we want what we are gonna uh, it's just just similar like a variable I think so let's create a variable called statement it's gonna be equals to we call the connect method from the DBA uh, class right so connect right here and prepare gonna paste in SQL right here and finally gonna execute that out execute and inside the execute is gonna be represent this question mark okay for the first question mark I want to send the title and for the second question mark I want to do is body and the last is going to be outer and we get this uh, title and body and outer is going to be from this parameter yeah okay, let's do it here so title body and outer all right, so now save and so back to the post.process.php and in here we need to send this title body and author as well so let's do that title body and author okay now save so let's take a look back to index and reload 
and let's try we got an error right here so yeah we forget the semicolon so reload that again okay so let's create a new pose get set to pose to content is gonna be this is pose to and the author is should be my name all right it's chan so add pose and we don't have anything but as you can see in right here when i reload we get a new pose all right pose to and the body and the outer and when we back to the index and reload we have a two pose really awesome right but i want to when we create a uh, click at post it's going to be automatically indirect in index so in here what we need to do is so in here let's print f just want to make sure uh, the server what, what i want to use okay just do that and just comment that out say a pose just random text and let's take a look in here what we are gonna use we are gonna use this where is that okay this right http refer okay so let's copy that and go to the code and in here what we need to do is all right You don't need to so let's change that to header say location so I hope that work so now say and back to the browser and let's see okay so create post and okay just uh, random add post and it's gonna be back to the index all right so let's uncomment that out so we want to do is just add a new pose and uh, it should be postery and the content is this is pose three and after is going to be submit all right so when i click the add pose as you can see in here it's going to be automatically go to the index but i want to add margin so we have a space in here so go to the index and where is that in here let's create a margin top to four save and let's take a look reload now we have space all right so yeah i think that's it guys for this video we can create pose and showing the pose in index right here okay so for the next video what i'm going to do is make the edit button in here is work okay so we can edit the title and body and or the author as well so I think that's it for this video. Bye.